Hello Internet and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about electronics. This is the controller board, the main controller board for the laser cutter. The board here is fairly straightforward in a module speaking sense. Uh, we have a connector down here for the motor motors. We have three motor drivers. Power input is 48 volts here. There is a, this connector is not used. I'm not sure what it is for. Uh, this connector here is for all the sensors, uh, the fire sensor, the, the open door sensor and control signals for power supplies and stuff like that. We have USB power here and uh, then we have a lot of different testing points such as these ones. And uh, there's a ground pin over here. The board of course and the driver boards are completely covered in dirt. So the main point of this video today is to clean this and see if we can get it running. I've already been trying some stuff out here um, because I noticed these uh, testing points and everything was working except the 1.2 volts. So that led me to believe that maybe the switching circuit was faulty and sure enough you can see I have already desoldered the switching uh, circuit down here. So what happened was that there's no enumeration whatsoever. The board doesn't power up on the computer down here we have a, a Cyclone 2, so a fairly old FPGA system. There's some uh, SDRAM here, and then this is a chip called EasyUSB. Uh, I can't remember the manufacturer right now, but these three chips uh, together form the, the control boards. So we'll start by cleaning the board, and um, then I think by probing around, we can probably figure out how to test the driver boards as well. So one by one I will have to clean these boards and uh, see if we can get it working. You can just see here. Still covered. With the cleaning done, then it's time to reattach this chip here. So what I've got is, is just a regular replacement. It's an LM2594. Uh, yeah, you can't see that. Uh, so what we're going to start with here is we're going to start with making sure that the pads are as clean as possible. My usual technique here is to start with adding just a little blob of solder on one of the pads, like so, because now I can use a pair of tweezers and I can position the chip and using that blob I just attach that single pin. And then when I have verified that all the pins actually fit onto a pad, then I can read. Then I can do the rest of them. So this should be fairly okay. The camera is in front of me, so this is a new approach here. So I hope you can see what's going on here. Maybe even better than me.
so now we have the board uh, cleaned up. That was a little bit easier um, without the camera. And also I checked that the rest of the soldering points were okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to see if this board will enumerate. So I have my computer and I have a USB cable. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with providing the 48 volts that this board requires. So from the laser cutter I pulled the Molex plug here, which I can insert here. I'm not gonna bother with the drivers at all yet. I'm gonna supply the 48 volts from my bench supply. Oh, sorry. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Let's provide some power and check the 5 volt over here. We got 5 volts. We have the V bus. 14 volts. We got 3.3 .3 volts over here. Yes. And we have the 15 volt that should be here. Also good. Let's check this problematic 1.2 volt then. Oh no. It's still down. I pulled off the chip and provided the 1.2 volts from my bench supply. And then everything started working. But yeah, the spark from before should have been an ominous sign. I'll check a few things and come back to you. It turned out that the diode right next to the chip was short circuited or had failed, failed to short. So let's try again. I have hooked up the voltmeter to the 1.2 volt power supply. I am turning on the 48 volt now and we now have 1.2 volts. So let's try the enumeration again. I will first insert the USB cable into the USB hub, like so. And let's see if we can hear a sound. Did you hear that? Let's try again. I can hear the enumeration sound on the computer. So that means that the board is up and running, which is super nice. So I still kept the, the new switcher. Maybe that wasn't even necessary. Um, but I think we have the board running now. So now we can try to attach the drivers and the cables and see if we can initialize the machine. That will be pretty interesting. So I'm going to hook up all the things and let's see if we can get the machine to power up. So what I have now here is I have just put in the stuff in the machine, the, the gantry, the cables, they're not attached properly. There are no belts on the Y axis. So the homing will probably be wonky um, if working at all, but everything is connected right now. So what I will do is I have here the USB connection. So hopefully we should have enumeration. So this is just an active USB cable because my computer is a few meters away. So let's see what happens. I got the enumeration sound on the computer. So that's the first good sign. But no light in the display whatsoever. And now it disconnected again. Renumerated. Okay. <clears throat> Something turned on. Okay, so the X and Y axis just homed properly and the machine is on and I even got, I got a red laser beam. I got, haven't got the display yet, um, but that might be because I sort of destroyed a component. It was just a simple inductor, um, but let's replace that. So this is an extremely good sign. I have the machine powered on. I don't have any display uh, yet, but that is a minor problem. That's definitely way better than, uh, than when I got the machine. It turns on now. 
and uh, it reports to the computer that it's yeah that the rear bay is open. So now we can start assembling stuff. Let's do that. 